All right, guys, to show you what it, the side right. looks like, basically, is once you go in, there's a, bit, a lot of potholes. So just be careful. This is why I didn't park my car over here, but you know, if you have a truck or something, you don't care about your car, beat it up. You know, be my guest. But the, yeah, this is what. We got boats coming in and out here. This is a docking station here. We'll park up on that side that we saw in the footage. All right, guys, this is basically the end. People can climb the, those rocks over here. This guy, these people over here, I'm not sure you can see, but they're like right there. Set the focus, yeah, there's people over there as well. See the fishing everywhere here. Yeah, there's no bathrooms either that I know of, so. Dead rock fish right here. That's actually might be 18 inches. Got another shad or something down here too. I don't even see. And it's all you. And it's you. And it's all you. Got a croaker here. Small guy. It's like flaring up. spots Bigger spot here. Still babies though. Small guy. Toss it back. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and clean the fish. You'll see us cut off the tail fin here, or part of it, and then the dorsal fin, then the pectoral fin, and pelvic fin, as well as the anal fin. Once you get all that done, go ahead and scale the fish, like you see here. Make sure you get the top where the dorsal fin is. There's always missing scales up there. You don't want to eat scales. 
get stuck in your throat. Um, also, make sure you get the anal fin area and then the belly as well. And then from here, I'm gonna blur out this part because YouTube doesn't like blood, but you'll just cut uh, as it, from your scissors, cut it into the anal fin and cut up and then gut it. I'll make sure you get, there's like a black layer of fat, I'll say. Uh, in the fish, you'll you'll see it actually smells pretty bad too when you open it up compared to the cleaning a white perch or something. Make sure you clean it really well and run it through water water too after. All right, from here, let the fish dry. Once it's dry, you can score it so that more flavor and seasoning can go through the fish. As for seasoning, we use garlic powder, onion powder, um, red peppers, and then some minced up lemongrass. Rub that in nicely, and then also let's start up the grill. I'm sitting for hours just getting it down. I'm admitting that I'm overthinking it, wondering if what I'm doing is killing me. Never been able to cut out the middle. My thoughts I could never repeat, but I know where they're coming from. Now look around, all the change you were making, and look at the life you were changing. See, I wouldn't change it for anything. After you're done cooking them, they should look something like this. My favorite part of the fish is the dorsal fin and then the tail. It's just, you know, creamy and crunchy, something about it, I just love it. Um, but it's all personal preference. And then I'll, I'll, I'll throw it into rice and eat it with some fish sauce, homemade fish sauce that we make. Sometimes we get small fish too, and they end up shrinking even further when you fry them up. And they're honestly the best because you can just eat them whole like that, like a chip, and it's crunchy, delicious. Make sure you just chew thoroughly though. All right, today we fished around 5 p.m., 5.30 p.m., where it says it's very high fish activity. And it was a lot of fish activity, but all the fish were small. I got a lot of big hits too, but I tried to record it and it got off. You know, fishing spot, they have very fragile mouths, so they'll take off and they just rip their own mouth and you just lose the fish. But going on here, scrolling on down, it was a low tide, of course and i believe we we fish a wax crescent moon and you can see right here average activity to fish means it's high activity and i believe we did fish a major period so 5 30 around this area three fish all right for parking um trailer parking is normally on this side and you can park over here if you have your car vehicle also you can park down here but there's a lot of trash that you saw in my footage and if you want to fish you can also drive your car all the way over here and park along the sides of the rocks but like you saw in the footage there's a lot of big potholes so if you care about your car then you can park on this down here or up here but this, this place is pretty sketchy in my opinion so I would keep uh, an eye out and park down here or just take your car over to the rocks if you like. All right guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next video. Remember to smash that like button, give us a comment and subscribe. Everything I use is under the description below, so check that out as well. Yeah.